Hey guys, and welcome to another instructional video where today we're going to talk about the rear delt fly machine. Now here's a look at the rear delt fly machine and as you can see from the image here we'll be focusing our efforts on the anterior deltoid which is the back of the shoulder the rear delt uh, and we'll also be using the trapezius and the rhomboid muscles which are the muscles of the upper back as we can see in the basic picture above we're going to be sitting with our face towards the machine our chest on the pad i'm going to move be moving from our arms in front of us to the side of us, so we'll be moving our arms backwards to the side of us. As this machine is used for more than one exercise, it's pretty common to find that the handles are in the wrong position when we first come to the machine. So, our first job is to correct the handle positioning, which can be done by pulling out the pins on the top and rotating the handles. With this exercise, we actually want to have them on the rear delt setting and we want to have them as far forward as we can. Now, when we sit down, we want to make sure that our hands are slightly below our shoulder. So as you can see here, my hands were too high. I'm raising the seat up, so then my hands are slightly below my shoulder level. We also have the option to hold on at the sides with our palms facing together. But for now, we're going to use the internal handles with our palms facing down, thumbs facing each other. And remember with the weight stacks you can change the weight pulling out the pin and replacing it to the weight that you want to lift as we know the discs on top can be used to make smaller increments to help us get to the weight we want to achieve now we're in position what we want to do is we want to try and push our hands as far back as we can we want to retract the scapula which is the middle of the back so essentially you want to try and push your shoulder blades together at all times. We want to try and keep our arms straight but not locked out. So you want to have a slight bend in your elbow and you want to keep this bend the same throughout the movement. We want to keep a constant workload on the muscles. So don't throw your arms back if we make this in a controlled manner. And we'll also see this by the weight stack when we're coming back to the arms being in front of us. We'll come down close, but not touching the stack below. And we also want to try and make sure that when we have fully extended our arms, we hold for a split second at the back, try and squeeze the muscles together. You'll also notice that my head is in a neutral position. My chin isn't on my chest. I'm also not looking up to the sky. And when the set's complete and you've done all your reps, slowly bring the weights back down, the handles back together. And that's it. That is the rear delt fly machine. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you in the next one.